Jeremy Bauer and his girlfriend, Giovanna Corrado, are suing their former roommate, 22-year-old Nathan Osias, for unpaid rent and a stolen dresser. Nathan is countersuing for the return of property and storage fees. You two were boyfriend and girlfriend, and he was a third roommate living in your house, and this is some nonsense about some rent that you claim that the defendant owes you and a piece of property that he took when he moved out. All right, let's just cut to the chase very, very quickly. After living together for a while, things didn't work out. He wanted out, you wanted him out. He finally moved out in September, is mm -hmm. that right? On the 7th, yes. So he finally moved out in September. Yes, on the 7th. Do you, he finally moved out in September. Mm -hmm. Yes. Jeremy Bauer and his girlfriend, Giovanna Corrado, are suing their former roommate, 22-year-old Nathan Osias, for unpaid rent and a stolen dresser. Nathan is countersuing for the return of property and storage fees. Now, do you currently have another roommate? Yes. Who? Eduardo. Eduardo. When did Eduardo move into the house? Uh, at the end of September. What date in September? About the 20th. We didn't charge him rent until the beginning of the next month. I don't care. Oh, I'm sorry. What rent does he pay? He pays... Yep. Easy phone call. What rent does he pay? $400. $300. I'm sorry. Less than what he was paying? It's a different room. How many rooms do you have that you rent? There are two full-sized rooms and one small half room that we charged half rent for. Who lives in the room that he was living in? Jess. Jasmine, my former room. My former, she used to live in the small room and she moved into the large room when he moved out. When did she move into the large room? Date? October 1st. I don't believe you. Why would she move in October 1st when he's no. gone September 7th? No. Why would she move in? If she wanted to move into the larger room, why would she move in October 1st? He would, didn't leave, leave there until September 7th. She started moving in her stuff between the month, but she didn't start paying I, rent until October 1st. That's why I said I don't 1st. believe you. Fine. Yeah. Now, what month do you claim he owes rent for? Just for September. Doesn't owe you anything for September. Nothing. Why is that? Because I said so. Because the... it's nonsense. If I may. Because it's nonsense. Because now you have additional rent. You want to make up your rent, that's fine. You have somebody that moved in in the middle of September taking over half a room that you didn't have before. So they're paying $300. This new roommate, according to your girlfriend, started to move her things into the room the entire month of September after he moved. Once she moves in a handkerchief, mm -hmm. she is a tenant in that room. So he doesn't owe you anything for September. Okay. What else do you think he owes you for? He took a dresser that I had allowed him Did, to have. Just a second. I'm sorry, what do you I have mean? Use. It was a spare dresser in the house. I had allowed the previous tenant to use it. And when he moved in, I said, you can keep using it. But I never gave him permission to take it with him. That's what we're about. Mm -hmm. Dresser. Yes, it was given to me by the prior tenant that used to be in that room. Good. Anything else? No, that, that's... That's it. You're done. Judge you. You have a cross complaint. You want the return of money owed for storage fees. What fees? I gave my friend money, which was on me, to give him that money. For what? For storing most of my things into one of his parents' vans. Okay. You know, I really think that you both just have to forget the, this whole bad experience. Even if he didn't pay rent in September, mm -hmm. what you did, according to you, mm -hmm. was I deadbolted the door after he left. He was making threats against me. I deadbolted the door after he left. That is an eviction. I just That's wanted an the police to come and witness it because he had two large friends with him and he told me there was nothing I could do about collecting rent. I put a notice on his door. I said, the rent was due on the 1st. You can't just tell me on the 6th that you're moving out. He left. He took his Your keys. Your whole. Instead of having one tenant, you now have two tenants. We've always had four tenants there. Oh, well, then you're very, very good business people. I can't help you. Goodbye. Bye, step out. Judge Judy continues in a moment. And on the next judge... A thief and a liar, and I'm going to be pressing charges for my stolen dresser. We got along until Giovanna moved in, in which things just got different with him. We've never done anything negative to him. We were helping him with the rent. He said that he liked living with us and that he was so close to his job and he didn't want to leave. It's a small house. It's not like a rental property. We rent to friends of ours. It's just a and small old house. And he was a friend, but clearly he's not a trustworthy friend.